Welcome everyone, we are at Microsoft Dev Center in Prague right now. It's summer and I decided to go for a vacation for a couple of days and to work from Amsterdam for a bit. Also, I'm gonna check Microsoft's office in Amsterdam as well. So let's go. It's a joke. do this so I have just arrived to the Amsterdam actually before the plane I felt very very bad but yeah then I took the pill against the sea sickness and it was really good it was really good feeling so yeah I took the train and metro have some lunch or I don't know maybe it, it is breakfast at this point in the Burger King. Uh, by the way, the prices are pretty much the same as in Prague, so I'm surprised in a good way that it's not that much expensive here. And now I'm gonna go to hotel, so that's it. Since it was morning and I still had effect from the pill I took for the flight, I decided to take coffee and to chill a bit while we are waiting. In the hotel we encountered a couple of strange situations, for example, the staff asked us to show the card from which the transaction was done for booking before we can check in. When we actually entered our room, we were a bit surprised because sink was blocked and we cannot wash our hands because water was still in it. We asked staff to help us and to unblock it somehow they come first time no success second time no success third time two guys entered no success they apologized and that's it also they promised that uh, in the morning some engineering guy will come and try to fix it but i don't think it was a good thing to stay in this apartment because you need to wash your hand you need to brush your teeth and stuff like this so we decided to ask to change our room to another one so we decided to not wait until the morning and just ask to change the room they need to discuss it with each other and like the provided decision was to move us out because they cannot fix the sink so we're moving and another room was much much better of course well first of all it has bus so this is already a big advantage and overall the room looks much better than previous one and we didn't pay anything extra this is good once we settled we decided to go around and to see how amsterdam looks like We walked a bit and end up in some good place, had a good dinner actually, and paid I think 20 euros and went back to hotel. It's day two, we woke up and went down for a breakfast. The breakfast was really good. I was very full after it. It cost about 20 euros. We went back to our room and I worked a bit and then we decided to go to city center. 
the Amsterdam looks very beautiful. I really like the experience of walking here. I wanted to walk and walk and walk and in the evening we went back and it, it was our day too. Okay, it's day three and this is the main day of the whole trip. I decided to go to Amsterdam's Microsoft office. It is located in airport, so yeah, I, I end up going to airport again, but it was all right because it takes about 30, 40 minutes, which is kind of okay. Whenever it's below one hour, it's kind of bearable. Also, uh, the public transport in Amsterdam was a bit inconvenient for me because uh, you basically pay for the time uh, which you are in any kind of public transport like bus, metro, train, doesn't matter. And the thing is that you need to check in and check out and uh, in my case I needed to check out from metro and check in to train to go to airport and I missed the order so I first checked in in the train and then tried to check out from the metro. And it didn't work, so I needed to wait 10 minutes or so to make the system forget me and then to do it proper way again. Because I didn't know maybe I'm paying all this time because I didn't check out properly. This is a bit inconvenient thing about Amsterdam you should know about. So I'm in the airport trying to find the Microsoft office. It's very weird to have office at an airport, right? I never had this experience before. In Prague, the office is not that far away from the center. I would say like 20 minutes from the center by metro. And in Amsterdam, it's like, it's, I, I took the metro and then I took the train. So overall it's like 40, 50 minutes from my hotel, which is not in the center. I would say from the center it's one hour at least. Or around one hour. So let's see. Let's see how I how I find the office. I really want to, to try it and to check how is it going in the Amsterdam. <laughs> I entered the office and went to reception straight away. Uh, I just told it, uh, yeah, I am an employee from Prague, blah, blah, blah. And uh, actually my badge will not work. So I had to ask for temporary one. And with temporary one, it was all right. I was able to go to open space and see how is it going inside. So that was my day in Amsterdam's Microsoft office. Overall experience is good. Everybody is very kind and nice. Whenever I tried to do something in the kitchen and didn't know where the stuff is, uh, one man approached me and asked me like, do you need help? And yeah, it's good. English speaking, of course. 
and I found first some room for meetings I think it wasn't that convenient and comfy I would say but still good enough still good enough and then when everybody left I think 6 p.m. 6 5 p.m. people started leaving and after that I moved to a proper desk it was much better experience with the window view and stuff like this to the airport and planes so overall office looks more modern I would say and the newest the fresh one comparing to Prague's dev center uh, but the food amount is very low in Prague you can literally eat however there was like decrease in the budget in the food but in Prague it's much much more food comparing to Amsterdam's office in Amsterdam you can basically drink coffee tea some a bit of fruits and very little of snacks I wouldn't say there there were some proper snacks it's just some couple cookies and that's it so this point was a bit disappointing for me and another thing I I didn't see any like gym room or like at least ping pong tables billiard or sorry pool or whatever in Prague office we have all of them we have a uh, kicker we have pool we have ping pong table we have a gym room which was launched a couple of months ago we have all of them also we have terrace in this office I don't think they have terrace but maybe they, they do so I'm not sure yeah there is Xbox you can play it I think one more thing I'm not sure it depends on the whether it depends that I just don't know anybody here I come on the people because our sibling teams, our partners, pretty much all of them are either in USA or in Prague as well. And here I don't know anybody. But it felt to me a bit like not integrated into the social and a bit lonely. Due to the fact that there are that small amount of people. Like that, as I told, it was a lot of people, but comparing to Prague office, I think it's just one hour floor, okay, maybe two hour floors can fit all four floors here in Amsterdam. Yeah, I worked a bit not a bit work today and that's it now going home when I came back to hotel I worked a bit more and went to sleep straight away Next couple of days were rainy so I was basically working from hotel all day and then on Wednesday I had my flight uh, at 4 p.m. or something like this and I successfully moved back to Prague in one hour and a half something like this back to Prague. That's it, it was my vacation to Amsterdam, thank you for your attention, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put your thumbs up, on top of that I have other social media and my tech vlog, so feel free to check these as well, and see you later again.